Hello Internet, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Last episode we went to war with Veslin here and took over one of their provinces. Um, and I noticed that Sweden has been formed by Opland. And I'm a little concerned. They're, they're quite strong. Uh, they have quite good alliances. Um, and I'm a little... A little worried about it. Um, and I, I was thinking we should work on some alliances. And I was looking at Jilland here. Or Yeland or whatever. I don't know how you say it. They're quite strong. And they will eventually form Denmark here probably. Um, and they're out of our way. But they're close enough that they could come to our aid in battle. I would like to avoid allying Sweden. Because I would like to expand into Sweden at some point. And uh, I see our... This is also fractured. This was all unified previously. Arjetl. Sure. I have no idea how you say that. You're quite weak, though. Um, because there's not much up here, so there's not a lot of developed land. Um, I would like to focus on you. How's, 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 it, how's Europe doing? Italy's quite large. The Papacy, of course. East Francia. Lotharingia is doing okay. Lotharingia. Francia is doing all right. Brittany exists. Uh, Spain is uh, still dominantly Muslim, looks like, or Islamic, or however one would say that. Um, what what religion is this exactly? How do I? Where's my religion map mode? How do I do that? Uh, plus, cl click the cross. Muwaladi. I don't know what that is, and I feel ignorant for saying so, but. Alas, it's not it's not quite Spain yet, uh, you know, and Portugal and all that stuff doesn't exist. So, you know, uh, England has not really been unified at all. It looks like some of the Norse people are claiming quite a lot of power over here. Um, Jorvik as well has been conquered. So England's not doing so hot. Uh, Ireland is not yet united, uh, which is not super surprising. I'd like to ally you. What do you have in the way of children? You only have a child. Do you have any grandchildren? You don't. So we can't marry our, you know, all of our children are quite young. Uh, so we can't marry to Jilland. I would like to not go ally with Sh Shayland here or however you say that because I don't want to. I'm going to expand into them at some point. And then Sweden, I'm, I'm afraid of Sweden. They're so powerful. And we really can't compete with our military might. We have... 1100 men and our vassals you know we could call in our vassals but they're not really powerful at all so anyway a couple things we want to do here at the start of the episode number one i would like to build another building in our capital holding here so i would like to do that and uh or we could upgrade the palisade uh no we can't we don't have the cultural requirement so we would need to build something else hmm War camps we looked at before were, were quite good. It's just that it takes five years to construct. Additionally, we could build some markets so that we could get more gold flowing into our kingdom. We, we don't earn very much. And gold can be a huge block uh, if you're trying to move forward and can't. Why is it only 0.8? I thought it was like 1.4 before. Why have you gone down? Tribe of Atrun. Did you... Why did we lose so much control? Why is this only six... Because it was sieged. Uh, okay, I mean, that will naturally recover over time, but we do probably want to send our marshal here because it's so important that we keep a good stranglehold on our capital. Go ahead and start building the war camps. It will take five years. And I would like you to keep doing control over here because these people don't like us and they're starting a faction. Although it's reducing because they like us more now than they did before. Go ahead and move into my land. Move move, move back to my capital, please. Uh, abort. Yes, that's fine. Uh, did, you actually, did you actually move or did I click the wrong thing? Yes, here. Oh, you are. Okay. Um, and then secondarily, I would like to increase our men at arms because they will only cost prestige and we have quite a lot of prestige. So increase the size too. This will be an additional hundred men uh, and it still costs nothing while it's unraised. So we'll go ahead and raise that size three. Same thing. hundred prestige up front for a hundred men, but no extra cost. 
in fact, yes, go ahead and raise this to maximum. And then additionally, we're actually losing prestige every month. Why? It just said it didn't cost prestige. Oh, because they're reinforcing probably. Full maintenance, 1.4 a month. Unraised maintenance, 0.4 per month. Monthly reinforcement, minus 1.4. Yeah, okay. So that's why we're losing prestige. That will stop once those men reach maximum. We additionally could create a secondary group, but they cost unraised maintenance, which means we'll pay for them even when they're not when we're not using them. Let's hold off on that. But we just added oh, we just added 400 men to our levies, uh, or rather our men at arms. So we'll have a much more potent military force. And then we should turn our attention up here to these few remaining counties that are not significant. Opland. Oh, I thought you were Opland that turned into Sweden. Maybe I'm mixing up my, my provinces. Sorry about that. Internet, I don't know geography, and I certainly don't know history. This guy is charming. Oh, you're a child. Why are you... What happened? Oh, I murdered your father. That's right. <laughs> my mistake. We, we murdered his father. Yes, of course. Hello, child. You don't like me very much. Hmm. You're strong-ish. But not that strong. Hmm. I don't want to go to war with you yet. If we go to war, we're going to go with Sagan. So let's um pass some time here quickly. A lowly launderer has been stealing from my household. The woman cowers before me, sniveling about hungry children and pleading for mercy. Please, my lord, I will do anything you ask. Show her what true hunger feels like. As I have a fair reason, no one will think I'm a tyrant. And she is killed? No, you mean we're going to starve this woman to death? She's 21-year-old poor woman. I don't, don't starve her to death. We would gain dread, piety, and a little bit of gold. We could imprison her. She will lose opinion of us. And we will gain five gold. Or we could show her mercy. We get a hook on her. Um, are you, what are you good at? You're an excellent diplomat, but my diplomat is currently one of my vassals, and I can't just get rid of him because he will be angry. Uh, how are you at stewardship? Is a nine. Um, yeah, I would like you to be steward. No, you know what? Let's just forget all this. I don't want to fiddle with anything. Leave it be. Imprison her. It's fine. Sure. You go to prison. I'll take the five gold. We maybe should have negotiated to get her on the council in some capacity, but I also didn't really feel like it. Looks like this guy's at war with Opland. Are you at war? You don't like me very much? I did take your land and whatnot. You have a truce? You're not at war. So why are you embarking? I guess you're going raiding. What about you? Are you at war? You're not. Now, because it's a weak child in charge, it might be prudent for us to push into Opland to try and take some land while they're weak. Hmm. How many men do you have? 1,100. It would be a difficult fight. For sure. Would not be the easiest fight in the world. Uh, no, we should pick on the weaklings first. I think. It might be more prudent to go to war while we have the opportunity, but let's uh, let's do what we can. Your neighbor has won against Hradgar of Fergava, a nobleman from in the Sagan conquest of Chitam of Fur. So this is all one one area now, and you're weak from having been at war. Yeah, why don't we why don't we take the war to them here? Can I reset my rally point to closer to their lands? How do I do this? Click to select. Uh, how do I move, move rally point this way? They're going to rally next to the land. We don't have to walk all the way around and, um, sure. Let's go to war with Sagan here since they just had a victory. Why not, you know, crush them out of spite, declare war and raise all armies and reduce our speed so that we're, you know, in a, an appropriate position here. You'll see they're quite weak compared to us and we'll just push into their territory here. We don't really want to cross. No, 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 no. Don't cross into where they're going to be. Because we will take a huge penalty. So let's sit here. They're going to go to C. This is, again, what annoys me about Crusader Kings. Is that they, uh, they're they going to go all the way around to raid us. We're going to have to... 
to land next to them and take the fight to them and they'll probably run away as soon as we land and it becomes a whole yeah see he's leaving already why why is there still siege progress when you just left so they're retreating into the mountains because it's a defensive position chances are even no don't you, you're already locked in your movement. Well, great. So we're going to take this fight. You inherited the chiefdom of Vestfold from Chiefdom Chief. Oh, our freaking marshal just died in combat because it auto put him as the leader. I guess we did appoint him at some point. That's uh, a bummer. He was a good marshal and we've inherited Vestfold. So now we're over our domain limit. Let's uh, see if we can appoint someone else to our council. Nope. Uh, so what I will do is make the decision to recruit warriors, which is invite champions. Basically, it costs us prestige, and men will show up in our court to be hired as knights. But once they're hired as knights, they're part of our court, so we could assign one of them because they're good. They're likely to have positive martial ability. You'll see how close this fight was. Even though we had a thousand more men than them, it was a tough. It was a tough fight. Did we just lose that war? That fight? Combatant was slain. Chieftain. That was our marshal. Enemy combatants captured. Captured Hemming, the chancellor of Chieftain, whatever. Are you going to be ransomable? You're not. Go ahead and put him down. For piety. A new, a new claimant. Of all the buffoonery I've ever seen in Chieftain Bjorn's Inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Jarl Afgerur claim on the chiefdom of Vestfold. So this kid we were going to go to war with now has a claim on Vestfold, which means he wants it, and he will try to take it from us. Great. Great. Hopefully they don't uh, choose to press us in war. So we did win that fight, although it was close, unfortunately. We executed the prisoner. One of our champions has arrived. Hello. You are terrible at martial, but you have good personal prowess. I'm uh, surprised how that happens exactly. Uh, we can at least recruit you as a champion. Yeah, how much? Three gold? Absolutely. Congratulations. You're one of our champions. We're going to try and polish off this army. Never mind, it's going to retreat all the way. Go ahead and embark yourselves. Either way, you're going to go through that county. Go through here. And we'll send you around to attack their main force now. I don't really like also in Crusader Kings. You'll see we both fought up here and then both of our armies retreated here. I feel like we should have gotten into a pursuing battle with them. I'm not sure why the game doesn't let you do that. Um, CK2 is like that as well. I don't really understand that. Obviously my soldiers would have pressed their advance. Where is uh, where's your capital? Over here. So we'll send our men over yonder. In fact, we'll go here to finish off their army. We lost quite a few men in that in that combat, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? We had to fight them. They would have kept retreating and harassing our own holdings. So we really had to defeat them. No sheriffs appointed. Great. Our, uh, our court is doing terrible. Which is super exciting. You have been report, uh, recruited. Great. Yeah, so it's a little stuff like that that annoys me about this game. I mostly enjoy Crusader Kings, but there are small things that get in my in my way. You're not great, but I will recruit you to my court and then appoint you as my marshal because I really need a marshal. Uh, military, knights, recruit, 11 gold, sure, sure. And uh, we will appoint you as our marshal. Uh, because he lost, yes, that guy lost his claim, so we don't have to worry about him being our vassal. So we're looking at my chancellor, vassal. So you're my chancellor. Do we have a better chancellor? Uh, kind of. My steward and Adar is slightly better. Okay, so make Bjorn my marshal. Make this guy my new... Who are you? My steward. No. We'll make Adar our new chancellor. He sucks, but he's slightly better than the last guy. You'll see their army is still intact. 
That's another thing that confuses me. We just took a fight. They had about 280 men, and we took a fight with 1,100 of ours, but they walked away with only, like, 10 casualties. I don't really understand that. Uh, recruited, yes. Champion, yes. We've already seen that. Uh, someone is pregnant again, I believe, was the message I just saw. Let's siege. We are taking attrition here. Why am I taking attrition here? Supply limit is a little too low, so we might lose about 100 men to attrition over the course of this siege. We could potentially split our military. You need two armies to select. You need two armies to merge. Yeah, but I want to separate them. Split in half. So about 600 men each. How many men are in this garrison? Scroll in. Show me. No, show me the garrison. Show me the garrison, please. 250. Yeah, let's split these guys in half. That way we're not getting um, attrition. No, why are you both moving? Are you both moving? Yeah, why are you both moving? I clicked one of you. Go here. Other one go here. Why are you moving together? Just you. No, don't merge. Why are you not splitting in half? What is the point of having two armies? You. Just you. Reorganize the regiments of two armies. I don't know what that means. Select. Just you. A hundred men. No. Just you. Head over here. Okay. Ugh. Oh. It's just a little frustrating, not gonna lie. They have 296 men. That's not enough to siege any holding other than this one, but hopefully they don't do that. And we had another champion. Also not very good stat-wise, uh, but we'll recruit him nonetheless. F2 for military. No, F3 for military. Champions, recruit. Five gold, sure. If nothing else, this increases the effectiveness of our army. Can designate, designate a garden for Kyotva. Uh, oh, because his mentor passed away. That's not great. We want someone with the really good traits. Physician, no. Gray Eminence is pretty great. Have my son tutored by my concubine. Sure. She likes us more. Can I assign? Okay, so now we can assign a military focus to him. He already got the martial focus. Rowdy children do well with martial education. Yeah, we're going to stick with that. He already has a focus. Yeah, but I didn't set it. So I should be able to change it. Low control, we know. Fabricate claims, we know. Okay, let's uh, finish this war. And we're going to turn our attention more internally to our, our own realm in the future. Instead of trying to conquer so much. We lost 50 piety because my wife is average at learning, but I don't think she is. I think she is above average. She is 14, which is listed as good. So I feel like you can't call that average, can you? Uh, because that is not what average means. So I see it looks like Sweden is trying to conquer this land. Who are you at war with? Uh, of Lindsay and of Friuli. Uh, looks like... Scroll out. Okay, and who is... So it looks like them and them, I think. It's a little difficult to tell. You would think they'd border it in red, but I guess not. Whatever. And it uh, looks like Opland is currently taking over what remains of Vestfold. And our children have been released from prison because they were captured in that battle, presumably. Um, oh, it's now part of Sweden. Well, great. Now we're neighbors with Sweden. That's really bad. Feel like our game's starting to fall apart, uh, honestly, which I, I think is probably a little bit of a dramatic response, but I am a little concerned about our, our future here. Our wife is pregnant for the jillionth time. Uh, our concubine had another female heir, a uh, female child, also known as a daughter. We captured his guests and two others. So let's take a look at our prison, which is in our court section prison. We have four prisoners, all captured. Oh, you were captured quite a long time ago. 
Oh, you're the person who was stealing from me. Yeah. Can we... We can't ransom her because she's from us. Go ahead and execute her for piety. She's a known criminal, so we won't uh, be viewed as a tyrant. Beheading. Sorry. We got a kid here. Can we ransom you? 50 gold. Absolutely. Uh, and we can't ransom anyone else at the moment because of uh, waiting on his response. We released his prisoner. Siege was won. It's great. Uh, let's go back to our prison section. You, are you worth money? For a weak hook? Absolutely not. Ransom for a weak hook? Absolutely not. So guess what, guys? Sorry if you're not making me money. You're getting executed. Because that is what we do. Two prisoners of war. And we get piety for it, which is important. Won the siege, got a few gold, great. Executed some prisoners, can now end this war. Enforce demands, yes, enforce demands, great. We gain the contested title. Now, we need to do some management here. Um, so this guy, hmm, um, let's just, geez. Uh, well, first of all, let's send our men home. You should be able to disband here. Yes. Um, we need to delegate. We're over our domain limit. Let's delegate the Duchy of Vestfold. Who on our council is good that we like and we want to keep good? Marshal and Vassal. So this guy is already our Vassal. He rules this area. We could give him this area as well, but he will eventually want the Duchy. And we're not in a position to do that at the moment. So it might cause some friction between us long term. You know what? You can have it. You can have it. Might be might be a mistake. Might be a mistake. We might be making him too powerful. Sagan, it's yours. Congrats. And we need to delegate Vestfold as well. Um, oh, good. Oh, good. So we have the Peasant Revolt firing. Which is ridiculous because it's such a small, pathetic thing. Who are you, a foreign ruler of the Peasant Revolt? Uh, increased autonomy? No, you uh, can screw yourself. You are my underlings and you will do what I tell you to do. Uh, keep the game paused. I'm not sure why it wasn't. You'll see, they have such a pitiful number, they can't even conquer their own, <laughs> their own uh, area. We will rally the troops. Sorry, lads, you're going back to war. Uh, we need to delegate. So Vestfold needs to go to someone else. Who do we like on our council that we can give land to? I guess we could give it to our wife. I don't know if you can do that. She's a... Uh, yeah, probably not. Um, council. Uh, I like my spy master. She's been around for a while. She's pretty good. Uh, I don't know about giving women land. I don't know how that works here. Don't Doesn't look like I can do that. Whoever it is is going to want on the council. Do we have anyone that's better as a steward? Only the guy we already gave land to. Do we have anyone who's better as a chancellor? Only our steward. Okay. Okay, Adar. I think you're terrible. I think you're terrible, but... uh. Sure, you can have, uh, you can have Vestfold. <sighs> sure, I, I don't love that. Anyway, they'll all die eventually, it's not a big deal. Uh, why, why are my men not raised? Raise the, re the remainder of my armies. And then we will deal with this Peasant Revolt. Go ahead and merge, merge those armies and go take it to the Peasants. They're even taking attrition, I mean, they're just terrible. You will probably win. Yeah, I, I freaking better. Freaking better win. If it is a pond for carps you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. Uh, this is us. Okay, so who said that? Uh, the builder before me has good credentials. My courtiers seem very excited by the prospect. All the resources you need. Uh, every courtier loves us, but it costs us 50 gold. Or uh, we haggle. We come up with a deal that is 74% chance we get a significant reduced cost or 25% chance that we lose 
50 gold, but we still get the 20 opinion. We just also lose prestige or we lose 10 stress and everyone loses five opinion of us. No, we want people to like us now that we have vassals. Go ahead and haggle. What did, uh, how, how do I know what I got? I guess, I guess we succeeded. Like we said, this stuff doesn't matter. We're fighting. Peasants really... Oh, we lost 15 gold. Good, we succeeded at making a good deal. So we got the benefit, but we saved ourselves 35 gold. Oh, it's paused. My mistake. This battle should be wrapped up in no time. We capture the leader. The faction disbands, and we get a prisoner. So be it. Excellent. Uh, faction is disbanded. Enemy combatants captured. This guy we can't ransom, so we will just execute him for his crimes. We're looking for court prisoners. This guy. Can we ransom you? Can you pay your own ransom? No, it would just give us a hook. Uh, execute is a known criminal. 50 piety, blah, 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 etc. Great. So we've taken care of that. Go ahead and disband our men so that they can begin recuperating after the war. We're up to 1,800 total soldiers. Uh, we would really like some more prestige. We would like to create that duchy. When we create the duchy... Uh, we will go to this screen, the Duchy of Vestland. Two du jour counties uh, that we hold currently out of three. And it will give us 300 prestige. Let's do that. Create. Cost us a lot of gold, but we got a lot of prestige. And as we continue to evolve, we will become a king at some point. And we will probably give that duchy to the guy who's currently ruling most of that land. If we go to the duchy view, he already holds two-thirds of it, um, so we could just uh, give it to him, but if we give it to him now, remember, we're the same leadership level. We are also a duke, so if we give a duchy, if we make a duke, and we are a duke, we can't rule over him, so he would become independent, which we really don't want. Uh, so I'm sure he probably wishes... Let's, um, let's fix our rally point as well while I'm thinking about it. Move the rally point back to our capital um we'll eventually give it to him i'm sure he probably is mad at us because he doesn't get to have it how do you feel plus 80 for the counties we gave him confederate partition he likes disparate tribes he likes short reign ambitious so he he has no opinion about wanting to be jarl that's interesting sweden is at war who are you at war with this might be an opportunity for us defending against Ran Riki. So this tiny, this tiny little area is trying to attack Sweden. That's pretty interesting. Would not have expected that. Uh, that's pretty, pretty funny. Conquest of the Kingdom of Vingelmark, which is this here. Still has a lot of allies, which is the main concerning point. Like, yes, they have a lot of men, but we could potentially just spend a crap ton of prestige and get a lot of men as well, or hire mercenaries as we continue to develop. The main concern is that they have so many allies. So you see here they have an additional 1,100 men just from their alliance, uh, which is way more than we have. But we're developing, we're growing, we're doing okay. And uh, we want to continue focusing on our realm, I think. My daughter has been born. I have so many children. This is getting a bit silly at this point. How many children do I have? Eight children among, what, four different women? Something like that? Not great. Uh, our heir is being raised appropriately. We should have delegated some of our children some leadership in the event that, you know, things pass to them. But also because they will probably become our vassals in the future and we want them to be good. You're charming? Uh, child, why don't I give you a diplomat for a parent? Potential alliances? Oh, no, that's for marriage. Although, I would not hate some alliances. Let's uh, marry some of our daughters. You're five. Let's betroth you to someone. Alliance with Nyland. All the way over here. Uh, alliance with Vianji. Let's zoom out so we can see these on the map. Do they still highlight this far out? They do. So that's over here. No, no. Piskov. All the way over here. Polotsk. All the way over here. No, I would like... Preferably people... <laughs> In this area would be great. Uh, 
Yarldom, okay, of Yarland has claims. Oh, it's actually this little part down here. And he actually has claims on the kingdom itself. I wouldn't hate that. You're very weak though, huh? Man, they're all like Russian. Okay, Norse. Where Where is your Norse kingdom? Earldom of Cumberland. That sounds English. Wish I could see. I wish they didn't make these freaking menus so huge. Cumberland. This little portion up here. That's very small. <sighs> There's just not good alliances. I think mostly it's because they don't have children. So like this guy has an heir. And he's not married. But we don't have anyone to marry to him. He has a sibling. Who is a daughter of Jarl Bagsag. So if we marry her. To one of our children. No, definitely not to the old men. So let's say we married them to our youngest. Would that... Okay, children of this marriage would be born to us. We would both get 200 prestige, or both of our children would get 200 prestige. And it would forge an alliance with them. That's exactly what I want. Because I want a defense against Sweden. And these guys are quite powerful. Will not accept. Patrilineal marriage. So he would be losing his child to us. If we married into his family. It's our youngest son. We have a lot of sons. We don't really need all of our children to stay in our court. We could marry one of our sons into their family. Basically, what that what matrilineal means is is that instead of being in the man's house, it will be in the female's house. So instead of this girl eventually becoming part of our court and our you know our domain, the, our son would instead marry into this family rather than her marrying into ours. If that makes any sense, which I think is fine. We have so many children. I don't think it matters, and we would get an alliance with them for you know, a long time. We never really, I have no plans to move into Denmark. My plans were to kind of overtake like Norway and Sweden and then kind of maybe push into like Russian area. Uh, the Russian, like, you know, the, and back into here. Uh, or alternatively, we would seek out England and see if we could, you know, steal the British Isles. But like, I don't see any reason to push south. I was not going to push into like main Europe, like Germany and, and France and all that stuff. Like I have no interest in coming in here. Um, I think this is fine. Who's a giant? She's a giant? Are you a giant? She is a giant. Well, son, you're going to have a very large wife. So congratulations. Big ladies are are fine. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I mean, I'm sure there's some penalty here that I don't understand, but... I think this is fine. Uh, so we just forge an alliance with a pretty powerful nearby nation that can come to our aid as necessary. Now we, of course, will be accountable as well. If uh, someone turns their sights on them, we may go to war on their behalf uh, or in defense of them. But for now, I think it's fine. Also for now, I think we should call the episode. So hopefully that all made sense. Hopefully I didn't just make a huge, uh, huge mistake. Hopefully everything is okay. We should raid which we might do, can lawfully imprison a fornicator in our realm. Who are you? You're my spy master? I like you, though. I don't want a fornicator copulated outside of wedlock. Shame on you. Also, why not with me? <laughs> Romancer? No, I don't think so. Um, we're going to let that go. I don't see a reason to, to hold that against her. And we should take a concubine. One of ours was killed. Uh, all we have available to us are Edla, my court physician, and my courtier who has a club foot. And therefore, any of our children would have a club foot, possibly. I do like our court physician. Uh, so we could do that. Boom. Bam. Great. 
Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to call the episode here for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to click the like button. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment. All those things make my video a little bit more visible on YouTube and is very, very helpful with these search algorithms. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time and I'll see you in the next episode.